1050, welcome back. We are talking about two wonderful events happening soon. One of them, a run where you can burn some calories all for a great cause. Yes, and Laura Bourbon, Brandon Smith from the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter here to tell us about both of those great events coming up. The one tomorrow called Puppy Love, yes. perfect for February. Tell us about it. Yeah, so Puppy Love is an annual event we hold at Lenny's Restaurant in Bramford. Um, we have amazing raffles and some silent auctions too. Uh, we have live music and um, all, obviously appetizers and there's dancing. But um, all of the money raised goes to helping um, all the different animals that come in, um, like Mika here. Oh, um, <laughs> she's ready. She is. She's adorable. She's going up for adoption as of today. Aww. And she's 8 to 10 years old and she's a Japanese chin mix. She she likes other animals. Um, she seems to like all dogs and cats Good. that she's met at the shelter. She's very easygoing and sweet. And so, um, yeah, but for people who want to support us, they can come to our Puppy Love event tomorrow. And when they support you at events like Puppy Love or the upcoming run, and we'll talk about that in a moment, Give us more details of what they are supporting, who they are supporting, where the money goes. Yep, so um, if you follow us on Facebook, you see animals like Chip, who arrived at our shelter last week. Um, he was extremely emaciated. Mm -hmm. We have cases at times that we can't post um, right. because we're in investigation mode. And so when people are coming to these events, they're just helping us really provide medical care and anything these animals need, whether right. it's specialty foods or beds or whatever. Um, so by coming to these events, they're helping us basically get all of those things that the animals need. And you're full right now. Yeah, we're, we're always full, as you guys know. Um, we're always trying to help as much as we can. And so we always have animals coming in. Yeah. But right now we have dogs, cats, guinea pigs, hamsters, bunnies. So if people are looking to adopt, we'd love for them to stop by. Oh, that is beautiful. great. And Brandon, another way people can help run for a great cause that's coming up in March. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you for having me on today. So March 24th, we're having the Run to Remember. It's going to be in Madison, Connecticut. Um, kind of had the idea, just I'm a big runner, did, did a lot of road races, and unfortunately my dog of 16 and a half years passed away um, back in October, and I thought what a great way to raise awareness for a great cause by running, burning some calories, and uh, donating a lot of the proceeds to a very reputable shelter. And how old are you? I'm 21 years old. <laughs> 21 years old, looking to help out impact the community in a meaningful way. You talked a little bit about it being a personal connection for you, losing your dog, which I'm very sorry about. Okay. Um, what do you hope that these runners learn when they join you in March? Do you want them to give back to local shelters like the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter? What do you really hope runners take away? Well, I hope they can see that, um, well, at least from my personal experience, uh, Cody Bear was his name. He was my best Aww. friend, and um, that's something that I didn't have to um, search hard for. He mm -hmm. just, just by having a dog and having, having or a pet in general, um, that's, a, that's your best friend waiting to be adopted. And hopefully by seeing more dogs and seeing, um, seeing just like the camaraderie around uh, the event, that people will be more encouraged to go adopt their best friend and, um, you know, make, not only make their lives more fulfilling, but the, also the animals as well. Yeah, beautiful. That is very yeah. sweet. And Laura, very quickly before we go, let's tell people how they can come tomorrow, maybe uh, come to the run as well. Absolutely. So um, both events are on our website at BranfordAnimalShelter.org. They can also go and purchase tickets on our website um, for the Puppy Love event tomorrow. And they'll find the link um, also on our Facebook page to sign up for the run too. Beautiful. Perfect. Thank you both for being here. Keep up Thank the good you. work. Thank you. Thanks, Nika. We hope <laughs> you find Nika. a forever home. We'll have all the info on our website, WTNH.com. Keep it here.